Oh yeah, buddy buddies. Saturday fun day. So, spent most of the day, mid-morning through mid-afternoon, trying to kind of fix my, my parents' driveway. Uh, they had a... Oh, no you didn't. Did this thing just do what I think it did? Let me look. I think it did. Oh, it just went into regen. Crap. Well, I guess we're letting it regen. Let's see. Let me see if I can't get it throttle up here. There we go. Turn the throttle up, it'll typically regen a little quicker. Alright, I don't want to run it. I don't like to run this machine while it's regening. I might be here for a minute. So while we're here, let's walk around. So you guys, if you're familiar with my channel, you're familiar, familiar with this lot. I was in here a few months ago with the mini with the mulcher, kind of just cleaned up this half of it, mulched down this pile of stuff right here as best I could wasn't much to it this bigger stuff i didn't really mess with because i'm gonna burn a lot of this here in the next few weeks now that it's cooling off i got a little burn pile right over there there's some stumps that i've got piled up over there and some more of them right here i'm gonna move but the goal for today is to take the mtl on the skid steer and just kind of mow some of this stuff down um, i didn't when i when i came through here mulch all this i didn't have this machine anyway and the mulcher on the mini was actually better for mulch up some of this bigger stuff in this pile it's a little more designed for that uh, but through here i just want to cut down all this dog fennel and this these briars and stuff growing up there are some stumps in here i've got to dig some of these stumps out uh, in the next few months i didn't before because the last time i was in here with the mini the other mini that i had the little 35 it just didn't quite have the power that i really would have wanted to dig out some of these lot like a lot of these bigger live oak stumps i think that kubota five and a half tons got significant more power to do that kind of stuff so you can see it's just full of briars in here and stuff so i want to get all this just kind of mowed down cleaned up there's a big there's a big stump tree stump right there and there's a big pile of stuff back there that i need to get burned still this lot needs a little bit of work and clean up i've been kind of just kind of messing with it here there over the last couple years we're gonna we're gonna just mow it down and we'll wait for this thing to regen hopefully that won't take long of course always wants to regen right when i'm getting ready to do something but it's been a beautiful day it's been like 65 degrees out it's been gorgeous and uh just been working on fixing the driveway the guy that put the driveway in used a bulldozer and it was just kind of rough and so we rented a little whacker newson rd12 roller packer thing and i brought the skid steer over here with the bucket and i just kind of slicked it up a little bit and we packed it down i patched a few low spots and that's kind of been my day for the last three or four hours so let's wait for this thing to regen and we'll hop to it
Well, that's the end of that. It take but about 25 minutes or so really quick to mow all this down. Just clean it up so I can see what I'm dealing with in here when I come start burning in the next few weeks. As cold as it is, none of this should grow back. I did not see that oak stump right there, and I went right into that pretty, pretty hard. Ooh. But, yep, just cleaned all that up. I'm not going to worry about the stuff that's growing in that pile. That's all getting ripped out and burned. Same thing with that one. I, I kind of just munched up some of the smaller limbs on one of those live oaks over there, but that was as far as I really wanted to go with it. But uh, that pine tree and what's left of that live oak and that big stuff over there and that oak, all that's getting burned. Oh, that's getting burned. I got to get the mini in here. That stump, old pine stump. I just haven't put much. Hasn't been a real priority. I've just been kind of piddling with this lot over the last couple of years. My, uh, my sister and her husband were, when we first started clearing this lot about two years ago, they were actually going to come in here. Hell, that might have been. Yeah, I think that was like two years, something like that. They were going to come in here and put a, uh, might be three now, I don't remember, but they were going to build a house in here, in, like right in here-ish, but uh, that ended up getting scrapped, and I've just been kind of just not really doing much with this lot in the meantime, but I really just kind of want to get it cleaned up so I can start, and get these stumps out and get the rest of the stuff burned, so then I can just come in here with like the bush, like the tractor and the bush hog and you know just keep it mowed and then maybe get some decent grass in here you know and then the next few years all it'll i can bring this start bringing the zero turn in here and just mowing it with the zero turn once i get all this stuff burned up and the rest of it ground down and maybe i come in here and just rake all this down with the bucket and kind of mix it into the ground a little bit maybe bring the tractor over here with the tiller and uh till this up a little bit and so i can get it decent enough and finally just start getting some grass in here you know because where there is you know some nice area here it's starting to get some decent grass in here so if i could just get it to grass and i could just like i said bring the zero turn in here and keep it maintained from now on and it'll look nice it's a really pretty little piece right here it's a really cool little live oak formation here it's a really pretty piece of property it's just really low off the road there i mean it i don't know if you guys can see that but it drops off that road probably i'm gonna say at least three feet down in here to that road it's probably three feet something like that off the crown of the road so it's just a little low if they were going to build in here we were going to have to raise this lot up in here with fill dirt a, a good bit but I think for now, I'm just going to want to get those stumps out, get the rest of this stuff burned, and get it cleaned up. Well, it's been a beautiful afternoon. I appreciate you guys coming along with me and riding along. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a quick little afternoon project. I didn't feel me messing with the driveway. It just it wasn't anything spectacular with that. So, um, yeah, beautiful afternoon. I just dropped Kelly off about an hour ago to go sit in a tree stand, and I'm going to go pick him up at dark. and. And it's just a beautiful afternoon here in South Carolina. I hope it's beautiful wherever you guys are at, enjoying this lovely fall day. I'm going to go back to the house, watch some college football, hang out, and I will check you guys later. I'm out of here. Bye, everybody.